Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. Guiding Light here back every Wednesday as always with another episode. Now last week Zerd did sell some pretty awesome gear but I unfortunately was not able to get the predictions right. But we're going to try my best this week to get as many predictions right as possible for the Trials of Osiris map and the gear set. So first and foremost let's just get into Trials of Osiris because that's actually a pretty big deal this weekend. So Trials of Osiris this weekend will be the last Trials of Osiris on the PlayStation 4 until September 30th, right after the Rise of Iron's release date. So if you're looking to go flawless, or you just have not gotten any sort of gear like the Dotrain or any sort of Year 1 Trials gear that you're really looking for, this will be like the last time that you can possibly get it. So you do want to try to make sure you can get on Trials of Osiris this weekend. I'm going to try my best to play as much as possible. Now, I'm not saying I can help everybody out, but if you do want some help, I can try to get to as many people as possible if you just shoot me a friend request on PlayStation 4 and make sure that you leave a message in that friend request telling me where you found me, otherwise I most likely won't see it or reply to it. But keep in mind guys, there will be a lot of people messaging me, so I may not be able to get to every single person, but I did help three or four people last weekend. The only thing I ask is that you do not spam me with invitations, it gets really annoying if I'm trying to play and there's invitations blocking my radar. Just know that I do see every message and I will try to reply to you if I get the chance and help as many people as I possibly can. Now for my prediction for the map, I don't know what the map is going to be per se, but I do really hope that it's the rotating maps. This is the last time in the Taken King that we're going to be seeing Trials of Osiris, and it has not been rotating maps in a really long time. I know a lot of people in the community enjoy it, and personally I wish it was rotating maps every single week or at least twice a month because it would be really awesome to play those rotating maps. I find it a lot more enjoyable and it's, sometimes Trials gets boring if you're just running down the exact same hallway all weekend long and I really do wish that they had rotating maps for that exact reason. So with that being said, my prediction this week would be the rotating maps. I'm sure a lot of people in the community would enjoy that and I really want to see it come back before the Rise of Iron's release. But with all that being said guys, let's get into the Zerp predictions. This time around, we're going to start things off with the Hunter class. So last week, you guys got the Bones of EAO again. I think that they just wanted to make sure that as many people as got them as possible in the Taken King because those are really like the most used boots in the game and that triple jump really does change the game. I know a lot of people can't even switch back once they switch to him because it's just so necessary and it's just so much easier to get around. So this time around, for the same exact reason, I think he's going to sell the Graviton's Forthright. So he did just sell this about two or three weeks ago, but because the Taken King is coming to an end very soon, and it's the last Trials of Osiris, I think he might bring it again. Now keep in mind, it is just a prediction, and some of these may be incorrect, but that is just my prediction for this week. The Graviton's Forthright for the Hunter class, it makes getting around a lot easier on the Night Stalker, and it allows you to run Keen Scout while also having Shade Step which is incredible in my opinion. It allows you to track people and shit stuff at the same time. And honestly, that tracking can become a big problem, especially in certain Trials of Osiris maps. And honestly, I don't really see myself running Night Stalker without that helmet on. So next up, we have the Titan class. Last week, you guys got a Defender piece. You got the Helm of the Saint 14, which is a great piece in my opinion. It's one of my favorite pieces to run for the Defender class besides the Glass House. So this week, I think you guys are going to be getting a chess piece. Now, there are a lot of great chess pieces for the Titan class. We have the Armamentarium, we've got the Twilight Garrison, and there's even the Crest of the Alpha Loopy. I know a lot of people would like to see that Twilight Garrison come back. That is another piece of gear that is a big game changer for Trials of Osiris. I'm not too sure if he would sell Graviton's Forefright and the Twilight Garrison at the same time, but if he doesn't, we still have a pretty good chance at the Armamentarium and the Crest of the Alpha Loopy, which are both great chess pieces on just about any Trials of Osiris map. Now, finally, we do have the Warlock. So last week, you guys got Void Fang Vestments, but this time around, I think it's going to be the Stormcaller's week. I think you guys are going to be getting the Impossible Machines, which grant you landfall while using your Storm Trance. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever run the Storm Trance, I cannot run it without these gauntlets. I mean, I could, but it's just not worth it. I really love that landfall perk and the increased melee attack speed on those gauntlets as well. And if it is a map where scout rifles are necessary, like it was about two weeks ago with Frontier, or if it's rotating maps like as I predict, you may be wanting to run a lot of minor multi-tools, and I'm sure we'll be seeing them a lot. As that is one of the most used weapons in Trials of Osiris, those gauntlets are really perfect. They grant you landfall, they increase your melee attack speed, and they increase the reload speed of, of minor multi-tool and all other scout rifles. So in my opinion, while running Stormcaller, there's really no other piece of gear to run other than these impossible machines. So if you've never even used Stormcaller, or you just don't even know what landfall is, it's actually basically like a Titan Smash before you even pop your super. So if someone rushes up on you and doesn't realize they have their super, you jump up, pop your landfall, and it's like a Titan Smash right below you. And you can even pop Defender's Bubbles with the super. So in my opinion, there's really no other choice than the Impossible Machines, and I really hope that he sells it for you guys. But please, God, don't be running around with landfall nonstop, as that can get quite annoying in Trials. 
Now, finally, I have my weapon prediction. Now, this isn't even going to be a prediction. This is really just going to be a hope to God because I know a lot of people really want this weapon, and I don't know why he hasn't sold it. It's just one of the best weapons in the game. So I really hope to God that you guys get it this weekend. I feel really bad for the people that don't have it yet and are just continuously getting outgunned by last words while they're trying to still use their legendary hand cannons. And I know that it's kind of frustrating for people that don't have it. So I really hope that Zerf sells it this weekend, guys. And if not, I'm also predicting that he's going to sell the primary Legacy Engram, so if he doesn't sell it, you can still have a pretty good chance at getting it out of those Legacy Engrams, and then buying it from the kiosk. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these predictions. Enemy captured. Now if you're new to the channel, I do do these predictions every single Wednesday, and I also do upload almost daily Destiny content. So if you're interested in seeing more of this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and as always, be sure to leave your Zerg predictions in the comments. I really do enjoy reading them, and a lot of people actually get them right in the comments, so it's pretty cool to check that out after Zerg has come. But other than that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.